<clears throat> we're going to talk about unit prices. So Zach Mizrahi can buy a dozen pencils or dollar forty-five. Twenty-four pencils for three dollars and ten cents, or thirty-six pencils for four thirty-nine. What is the best buy? And if you go in a store, a lot of times they will tell you the unit price. You won't even have to calculate it by yourself. Unit price means dollars per unit. Okay, so here we a unit price. You take the full price of the item and you divide it by how many there are. Okay. So, for example, my first situation here, um, he could buy a dozen pencils for $1.45. So, a dozen is 12. 12 pencils. I'll do my 12 pencils here. Okay, the next option was for 24 pencils. I'll do the 24 pencils here. And the final way to, that he could buy them was for 36 pencils. Let's find the unit price for each of those. All right, so for the unit price, we take the price of the item. For, for the dozen pencils, it was $1.45, and we divide that by how many pencils there were. There were 12. So we go $1.45, 1.45, divided by 12. The unit price for the dozen pencils is 12 cents. 24 pencils, their price was $3.10, and there are 24 of them, so we do $3.10, 3.10, divided by 24. Okay, that is 13 cents. You get 0.129, which rounds up to 0.13 cents. And finally, our 36 pencils, they were $4.39 for the 36 pencils, so we take $4.39 divided by 36 and we get 12 cents again. <laughs> so it looks like we kind of have a toss up between the 12 pencils and the 36 pencils. I'm going to go back and look more in detail at what my answer was for this one is 0.1219444. And over here my dozen pencils I'm going to divide again so I have the full number it was 0 0.1208333. So in this case, notice the 0 0.120 is smaller than 0 0.121. So the 12 pencils is actually going to be my best deal. Usually you'll get three different values, um, but for the 12 pencils, it's 12 cents each. For the 24 pencils, it's 13. And for 36, we round to 12 cents, but it's a little bit more than the 12 pencils. Again, most of the time it'll be more clear cut than this, and one will be 12, 13, or 14 cents, and you can decide which is the cheapest. Okay? But if you have to go further to compare, you can. Okay? The answer won't always be 12 pencils, but for this example, 12 pencils was the smallest unit price. Hey, Jennifer Edwards can subscribe to a newspaper for $110 a year. Okay, so there's her first option. She can subscribe for $78 for eight months, $52 for four months, or for 50 cents a day. Which is the best buy? So let's break these all down into a daily price. Okay, so the daily, we have 50 cents a day. That one we really don't need to do any calculating on. Okay, um, let's do the year. Okay, the yearly rate was $110 for a full year. Well, how many days are there in a year? Because that would be our count of how many papers. There are 365 days in a year. 100 divided by 365 gives me 0.30, 30 cents. So clearly, so far, buying it for the full year is much cheaper than buying it every single day. Okay, next we have the eight month option. All right, so here we go. We have $78 for eight months. How many days are there in eight months? Well, it really kind of depends <laughs> on which eight months you're talking about. Um, but let's assume, let's just take the 365 divided by 12 months to find out roughly how many days there are in a month. 
we're just going to go on 30 months. Okay, 30 days in a month. So how many days do we have? 30 days in a month times 8. Now again, I know it depends. It would depend on which 8 months we're talking about, but this will give us a good estimate. 8 months is about 240 days. Again, that's if we assume 30 days in a month. So $78 for 240 days, 78 divided by 240 is 0.325, so 33 cents. So still the yearly option is the cheapest. Let's go to the four months. Okay, what's the unit price for four months? It's $52. We need to divide by how many days that would be. So again, we'll assume there's 30 days in a month for four months and find out how many days that is. That is 120 days. So we have $52 for 120 papers, 52 divided by 120 is 43 cents. And this is how pricing usually works. The longer you're, you're going and committing to, the lower your price. So we can clearly see that daily is the worst option. Four months is the next. Eight months is next, but the best option is buying it for a year because you get 30 cents. So the best buy would be to buy for the full year.